Hi, and welcome to Girl Talk. It is a glorious day. People are catching fish here in the Low Country. <sighs> and I am talking to my friend, Kathy Ulmer, Ulmer's Pharmacy. And we've actually been sitting here for about 20 minutes, and I think we've pretty much covered anything and everything we can talk about when it yes. comes to um, what's new in the world right. of pharmacy, pharmaceuticals, and there is a lot going on. We had a hard time deciding what to talk about today because there's so much fun stuff. Yes, there but is. But I think one of the things that was interesting is do we as patients take advantage of you as pharmacists and your knowledge? And I was just talking to one of my clients and um, he was like, well, I'm on two blood pressure medicines and my new doctor just gave me another one and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And he goes, I'm not sure what to do. And I'm like, do you talk to your pharmacist? And he goes, well, they always ask me, but I don't know what to say. Right, yeah. So share with us a little bit about your thoughts and feelings about so, your role. Yes. So I think I was mentioning to you, I was like, my biggest thing usually is people, um, when you, every time you pick up a prescription, you're asked, do you have any questions for the pharmacist? And I tell people, I was like, that answer should always be yes. Okay. That pharmacist is there to guide you in your medication therapy. So why am I taking the medication? What am I taking it for? How should I take it? What if I miss a dose? What are the side effects I'm looking for? Um, the pharmacist, that's that that's their, um, their education right there. Okay. So it's very important that you... Um, identify that if you've not been on that medication or you have any questions to take advantage of the pharmacist who's there um, and has filled all your medications. Have you ever had a situation where someone's come in and been on a blood pressure medication or two and then you see a third one come in and you're like, you, you know, it's I'm not a physician, but I'm just kind of trying to understand what where that's coming from? Oh, absolutely. Probably more than I would like to say because um, a lot of times what will happen is you see a primary care physician and they put you on some blood pressure medications or you go to the hospital um, and then you go to a cardiologist, a specialist, they put you on. And, and they're just, sometimes it's not um, an easy way that those doctors know that you're on other blood pressure medications. Okay. So um, in our field, we usually like to maximize one before we add another. Got it. So a lot of times those are discussions we have. So if I do see an extra another or duplicate therapy, which is one of our systems mm -hmm. that um, picks up, um, I'll have a discussion maybe with the patient first, or I'll just call the doctor's office. And sometimes I, those things are cleared up and patients don't even know we've done it. The other thing that we talked about that I thought was really interesting is supplements, vitamins, and people mailing in. You get a lot of people who get um, prescriptions through the mail? Yes, yes. So a lot of people use mail order, which um, is kind of just a, uh, another way to get your medications quick and easy and cheaper a lot of times. But the thing is, is like if you go to a local pharmacy on the regular, they they may not know or have access to those uh, records of what you're getting through mail order or if you're just you know and I encourage people to you know look at supplements and alternative care but letting your pharmacist know that you're using those and letting them know what you're getting from another pharmacy or if you're getting compounds or if you're getting okay. mail order we can build a profile within just just adding those things and 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 that way it electronically check those things even if you know we don't know that electronic system can run drug interactions or dosages. Well, let me ask you this. I have um, friends and clients who are Google fanatics and they will Google anything. Yes. And, okay, ad nauseum, if you will. Mm -hmm. And then immediately once they've Googled it, they have all of these side effects. And how are side effects determined? I I've always wondered that. It's sort of like, here, take this blood pressure medicine. Yes. They're all over the place. I mean, okay, you have yeah, to I list every single side effect that's ever been reported or okay. you know, even the, a, all the percentages. So a lot of times you're going to see lists of side effects, but not the percentages or like what's the most common side effects, um, which is, again, important because if you do talk to your pharmacist, a lot of times, you know, through their experience, they can say, these are the main things that we're going to be looking for um, on those medications. So if you go online, you're going to you're going to Google all those things and you're just going to get a plethora of information. Some of it may be right. Some of it may be kind of right. Um, we do have access to resources that are clinically proven. Okay. And so when I pull up in my system side effects, it tells me percentages or the main ones. Oh, and then it know. gives you okay. yeah, percentages on other ones. Is there a um, 
formula. So when someone is given a medicine, I hear this all the time. I was on it two days and I hated it. It gave me side effects or, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there a time that you wish people would kind of stay on a medicine? It's a new medicine. Does it take time for your body to acclimate? It depends on the medication. Okay. So there's some things like antibiotics that are gonna start working immediately. Okay. So you would probably be able to know if you're gonna have GI side right. effects, some things. Some other things you have to give, like thyroid medications need time to work in your system. Got like it. You need like six to eight weeks for that okay. to work in your system. So it's gonna vary a little bit, which is a great discussion to have with your pharmacist to say, what are side effects am I looking for? And when should I be concerned about them? Well, and that goes back to our initial question about asking questions at, cause some of that stuff you don't even think about. No, I think no. we're used to taking a Tylenol and our headaches gone in mm -hmm. 10 minutes as yes. opposed to taking six weeks. Well, who would know? Yes. Every single time you come, I feel like we need an entire show. Yes. <laughs> I really do. It's like we just kind of get on a roll, right? Yes, and then there's it, so many good questions. But there really are. There's a lot to know. And I think a lot of ways we could advocate for ourselves and our well-being yes. by just knowing the questions to ask. Yes. So as always, it's great to see you. Great Stay see with you us. Too. There's bunches more to come here mm -hmm. on Girl Talk.